Guys, great news. After so long, we've been waiting for confirmation of this for months at this point. Apple's next event, their first official one of 2021, they've announced it, it's on their website. It's not the April event? Okay guys, what's up? Sam here, welcome back to another video. And uh, Apple is 100% trolling us. You cannot convince me to believe otherwise. Their moves have just been peak sus lately. Like today they announced WWDC, we're gonna be talking about that and a couple of other super interesting news bits, what I think the artwork means, when this is happening, what it means for you. And listen, we're just gonna jump right in because I know you already dropped a like down below and I know you've hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications. I mean, I, I know you would do that because it means the world to me. First let's talk about the dates for WWDC, which are June 7th to June 11th. Now, obviously the big day for like us plebs out here is going to be June 7th. That's when Apple will be holding the keynote. That's when they're going to announce a bunch of stuff. And then the next four days are for developers to go hands-on with everything. Or since it's virtual this year, I guess sort of tentacles on or AI things on they're gonna be touching it up with something, just not their hands. And as innocent as those dates might seem, go ahead and check out how many days there are between now, when Apple announced this, and uh, when it's actually happening. No, I'll wait, go ahead, type in your little Google. Yeah, it's 69 days. Bro, They are trolling us so hard, because a lot of us thought that we would be getting the announcement for Apple's April event today. So you're telling me that Apple could have announced WWDC last, week or next week or on Wednesday of this week or on Thursday. They even announced WWDC 2020 on a Friday last year, like the slowest time for news when you would never want to announce something big. And you're telling me that it's a coincidence that we still haven't gotten the announcement for a spring event from Apple, still no official word from Apple on when new products like the iPad Pro and AirTags are coming. And Apple just coincidentally puts out the press release for WWDC today on March 30th which is exactly 69 days ahead of June 7th. They are laughing so, so hard right now because nobody knows what's going on. They've clearly gotten some leaks under control here and they are just doing everything they can to confuse and distract us. And it's honestly kind of fun. I want to be honest, it, it was kind of fun to be surprised today that it was WWDC being announced and not like an actual spring event. It's a surprise for the first time in a long time. So the week starts on June 7th, it goes to the 11th, it's a Monday through Friday, it happens in June as always, and this is the event where we are getting some cool stuff. But before we jump into that, I gotta focus on the artwork this year because again, this is like if there was a hungry dog that hadn't eaten in a few days and you just like threw a steak at it, but you threw the steak so hard that it hit the dog and then the dog was blinded and it couldn't see. Like that's kind of what I, feel like Apple's done to us. Listen, are these AR glasses? <laughs> Again, Apple does it 69 days ahead of time. And then they do, they do this. They put some glasses in the thumbnail on like the year that the AR glasses were initially supposed to come out and Apple does augmented reality stuff every year, WWDC. I mean, listen, they are, like I said before, they are having, I think, so much fun just screwing with us. I mean, looking at the glasses, it really appears like the apps are not a reflection, uh, but rather like sort of in the glasses. I mean, the way that the, like the reflection moves, I guess it could be a reflection. It just looks so good. I mean, their branding is always on point. And in every image on Apple's WWDC site, including the like Swift Student Challenge and even Greg Jaws, the head of marketing at Apple's like own individual tweet, like they all look the same. It's all person emoji custom with glasses that have shadows, okay? They've got the, the reflections rather on their glasses. And like, I don't know if this is Apple teasing it. I really don't think so. I mean, they could, I guess Apple could announce it like a couple of years early and be like, developers get ready. I mean, this would be the event to do it because AR is gonna be a fun fundamentally completely different platform than anybody's ever developed for. I just, you know, I don't know guys. I, I, I just, it's too obvious, you know, like if something's too good to be true, probably is. But of course, aside from AR glasses, which like, you know, a real toss up in the air right now, nobody credible has said that those will actually be unveiled. What are the things we can actually get for sure? Four things, 100% we see them every year. First, iOS 15, second, watchOS 12, third, tvOS uh, 15 as well, and watchOS 8. That is what we are getting at WWDC, but how do we know? 
how would we ever tell what is going to come at WWDC? This is Apple's conference for developers, and this every single year since I've been alive is when we've seen new versions of iOS and watchOS and you know tvOS macOS this is when Apple announces it we don't get it at the September fall event which means that the beta versions of these will almost certainly be dropping on June 7th so iOS 15 beta 1 macOS 12 beta 1 watchOS 8 beta 1 and tvOS 15 beta 1 are coming on Monday June 7th so mark your calendars get ready not only are we gonna get a huge event there uh, where we see all the software where like Apple always releases the beta versions that day. And again, I don't see reason for them to change par for the course now. And then there's the hardware side of WWDC, which is always highly speculative because some years we see stuff and some years we don't. Like in 2019, that's when Apple unveiled the Mac Pro. But in 2020, we saw no hardware whatsoever. But honestly, right now it's a super tough call because if we do see an April event, then like what will really be left for a big event in June? But maybe we do see something like those redesigned iMacs. My only thing that makes me believe those iMacs are coming sooner than WWDC is still this. 9to5Mac recently found references to two new iMac models, but in the current macOS beta in testing. Like if Apple was releasing these, wouldn't they not put it in like an update that's coming out soon? Why would they reveal it now and not later in a different update? So while it's really fun to speculate about hardware at WWDC and it's like, oh, could Apple reveal the AR glasses? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to feed you that information. I don't want to get you too excited because no credible sources as of right now have said that we're getting hardware at WWDC. So I'm going to report the facts until then. And uh, just something else I want to throw in here that I think is absolutely hilarious is you guys remember AirPower? Obviously, it was Apple's failed wireless charging device. You could set up to three devices anywhere on the mat and they would start charging. It was ultimately canceled due to issues with the heat dissipation. And Apple was like, nah, guys, we're done with the project. Move on. Well, basically, the day that Apple announced this, Xiaomi, uh, an Asian company, started working on their own version. And apparently, they have brought one to market. So somehow Xiaomi has done what Apple could not. They have figured this product out with a ton of overlapping heating coils. You can set your devices anywhere. And in the marketing materials, I guess just to spite Apple real hard on this, they put an iPhone. So Xiaomi makes a ton of their own phones with wireless charging and everything. And, and Xiaomi specifically in the marketing images has chosen to put an iPhone front and center. That is peak memory. That is uh, some good old tomfoolery. And I guess there's just a lot of goofiness happening now because now Xiaomi's got the mat. Apple's trolling us with WWDC. I mean, what's next? Will there be an April event? I hope. Anyway, that's all for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. I hope you had a good time. If you did, drop a like down below, share the show with somebody else, and subscribe for more like this in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing well. And I'll catch you cool cats in my next video. Peace.